and quick the same thing or <laughs> something you are short or quick <laughs> all right everybody welcome back to another episode of the science of flipping i am your host and as you guys can see i am with my two close friends my mentors and business partners sean terry and kent clothier what's up gentlemen what's happening big guy what up? how's it going Man, uh, we just spent a pretty awesome last couple days out in Cabo San Lucas together, uh, masterminding with our billionaire boardroom mastermind group, and I wanted to get you guys just on this episode to just introduce the concept of masterminding really quick and and how awesome it was to spend time with roughly 12 to 15 of of the top investors across the nation out in Cabo at a five-star resort and and talking business and, and enjoying life. All right, yeah. Ken, so what's the mastermind? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, I think I would go one step further, dude, because the, the Cabo trip was just the, kind of the icing on the cake, right? I mean, it's really the last three weeks you've spent and, and, and we have collectively spent in masterminds with all of our yeah. boardrooms, right? So yeah. boardroom, boardroom elite, and then Cabo was kind of, like I said, the icing on the cake, the pinnacle of all of it. But um, I think once again, we've we've seen live and in concert, if you will, the power of masterminding, the power of putting like-minded people in the room, the power of putting uh, really strong personalities that have a lot of cool things going on in their business, putting them in a room and kind of forcing the issue, if you will, of, of them sharing their ideas, making themselves vulnerable and and being open to hearing great ideas and hearing other concepts from, from other investors from around the country. I think we've all just kind of bore witness to, to exactly what that looks like and the power of that all over again it's not a new concept for us but it's always exciting when when we when you see it right yeah and i think um you know for me uh you know if i look back at my you know look back when i first started and i was the type of guy that always wanted to try to get the information for the cheapest possible path so i you know you look on youtube or you look at blogs and you look at podcasts and you look at all these different things and you take uh, all this information you and you try to sort it and then apply it and you don't really know if it works or if it doesn't work so you spend a lot of time and energy testing all these different ideas and all these different shiny objects hoping that something actually works. So when I was actually introduced to the concept of of a mastermind, I was really resistant from it because I was like, okay, you know, it's obviously it costs money. It was expensive to do. Um, but then I knew that if I didn't invest my invest myself, who else was going <laughs> to invest in me, right? So uh, I actually, I took the leap of faith and I took the jump you know, for the sole purpose of being around some incredible leaders uh, in the industry, they were doing incredible things that I wanted to be around and learn from. Um, and I actually put myself in the room, and it was very a vulnerable situation where I remember I stood up in front of a bunch of great people, Kent being there and Justin being there, and would start talking about all the chal- all the great things that was going on, about all the challenges that were going on as well. And through those challenges, you know, I, it's funny because when you're in the muck you can't see the light, right? So I was in the muck so deep that I couldn't see the light. So Ken, Justin was there and Jason was there and they said, hey, why don't you hire? And I'm like, hire? I I can't hire? You know, there's no way I can hire somebody, right? Um, But what happens is it it, it flipped a switch in my head of, of what if. And then not only did they show me the path to hire and how to hire and who to hire and what to hire and what to look for and stuff, but I actually came out of that hiring my first person. Um, and I can tell you right from that point, I uh, understood leverage, meaning we were just in Cabo and hanging out. Um, and you know, Kent has a highly proficient team of people um, that know their jobs inside and out. They do their jobs every day. I know Justin does as well, and I I do as well. But we could, they could, you know, I was in Cabo hanging out, masterminding with another group of people. And my team are, you know, marketing's going out, calls are coming in, uh, appointments are being made, contracts are being signed, deals are being closed, wires are being sent to my account, and you know, and it's and it's and it's operational without my input. So the concept of mastermind number one is 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 getting to the next level, understanding leverage and what it can do for you. And number two is that the relationship I'm sitting here, you know, with with two guys that are you know in, incredible. Um, you know, leaders in the industry, and I'm sitting here with them, and we were good to, got to go down there together. These relationships would have never happened 
if it wasn't for a mastermind. So for me, you know, uh, a mastermind is the fork in the road for me. You know, either A, I could have tried to figure it out myself and do it myself, which wasn't working. I was getting the same results. Or that fork in the road for me was making a decision to go to a mastermind. And then that brought me to a whole different path. One, of having incredible relationships. And two, actually pulling my head out of the muck and seeing what is possible. So it's been a big impact. That's awesome. Well, I appreciate you guys being on. And and I think I'd leave leave my listeners with this. Guys, I'm literally partners with these two gentlemen you see here. And if it was not for the same mastermind that Sean is talking about, this would never be happening. I would not have two close friends, two incredible mentors who year in and year out have guided me throughout, have been able to pull me out of the muck, as Sean is talking about. Have I've done countless deals with Sean. We're both in Phoenix. Um, you know, it, honestly, if you want to be around bigger, better people, masterminds are where it is they're incredible and in my friendship in my you know you two being my mentors and business partners it's all because of a mastermind and the power of that and i would just say it's not always overnight but our friendship our our relationships have grown and blossomed over the last six plus years um i'm completely grateful to you two but i just think uh we're we're really talking about the mastermind the power of being in those masterminds guys so and up ted what can't a mastermind do, right? A, a mastermind cannot teach someone how to do a backflip correctly <laughs> off the <laughs> boat. <laughs> now, so if, you learn yeah. how, if you guys are listening right now want to learn how to do a backflip off the boat at like a two-story level, then, um, then a mastermind is not for you because Justin cannot teach you that. Right. And we'll, and, and you got to show footage. We'll, we'll give you the footage up here. But Justin, so we're all in the boat. We're all in Cabo. We're all hanging out. We're all having a blast. Right. And I was just watching it in the other room. So we had a drone that was sitting up, up here over the boat. And Justin gets on the edge and he's talking all sorts of smack. And he gets up there and says, <laughs> up and do a backflip. Right. So he gets off and literally what happens? <laughs> he stops in midair and smack right on the boat floor. Oh, I ate and, it. We got this great. So when you see this video, hopefully you can watch it. See this video. Ken is like on the boat going, ah, I'm freaking out. <laughs> so, uh, so here's the deal. The bottom line is it's, it's a lot of fun, but you will not learn how to do a backflip from Justin Colby. So okay. if that's what you're expecting, then don't join Voice Master. You have to drop the mic. That's it. Right there. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Hey, I appreciate you guys. We're out on that. My backflip game has to get better. Uh, but I'll make sure it improves by the next time we go out. I appreciate you guys joining me here. To all the loyal listeners, go to thescienceflipping.com. If you really want to be a part of the mastermind, give us a reason to accept you. Be honest. Be sincere. There's an application on the right-hand side. Click the application. Fill it out. You have to be approved by the three of us. It does not uh, include everybody. These are very intimate. These get very personal. We're only choosing the people that can add value to the group. Prove to us that you can add value to the group, that you belong to be there. Make there a reason for us to approve you to join the boardroom masterminds. And with all that being said, guys, we're out. Have some fun. Peace. See ya.